In this video, we're going to solve the lead code problem count elements with maximum frequency. So this problem says, given an array nums consisting of positive integers, return the total frequencies of the elements in nums such that those elements all have the maximum frequency. So for example, given a list of 1, 2, 2, 3, 1, 3, 4, the output should be 6. And I'm going to explain why it is 6. As well, I'm going to show you my code that is accepted on lead code. If you look closely, you can see that the number 1 occurred two times in this list, namely here and here. And same with number 2 and 3. For number 4, it occurred only one time in this list. These are the frequencies of each number. And what is the maximum frequency? It's going to be 2. So these ones here. So if you add all the twos together, you will get six, and that is the output. Let's do another example. So if we have this list, A, B, C, A, D, A, you can see that the letter A occurred three times, the letter B occurred one time, and C also occurred one time, and the letter D occurred two times. So what is the maximum frequency? It's going to be three. And since three only occurred one time, then the output will be three. So let me show you how to get this table in the first place. The first step is to create an empty dictionary like this one here. And then we're going to traverse through this array, starting at the beginning. So we see A, and is A inside this dictionary? Well, no, it is not, because the dictionary is empty. So we're going to put A into the dictionary, and we say that A occurred one time. We counted one occurrence of the letter A. And then we move to the next index, we see that we have B. Is B inside this dictionary? No, it is not. So we also put B into the dictionary, and we say that we counted one occurrence of this letter. Then we move to the next index. Is C inside this dictionary? No, it is not. So we put C into this dictionary, and we say that we counted one occurrence of this letter. Then we move to the next one, and we check. Yes, we see that A is inside this dictionary. So we increment the value to number 2, meaning that we counted a total of 2 letter A so far. We move to the next index, we see that we have D. So we're going to put D and 1 into this dictionary. We move to the next letter, we have A. So we increment A and we have 3. And finally we move to the very last letter, we have E. So E is not inside this dictionary, so we're going to put E and we counted one occurrence of this letter. Let's take a look at the solution in Python. So here is our method, max frequency elements, and it's going to take in the nums array. And then it's going to initialize the dictionary and traverse through the nums array. So if the element is inside the dictionary, then we just increment the number of its occurrence, so plus equals one. But if it's not inside the dictionary, we're going to insert the key into the dictionary and set the value equal to one. So we want to get all of these values into a list. So that's what list the values mean. So we're going to put all of the values into this value variable, and this is going to be a list. And then we need to get the maximum. So max add values, put into max value. So the max value in this case is going to be 2. That is the max value here. And then we want to know how many times the number 2 occurred. So that's values.count max value. We want to count the number of times the max value occurred inside values and put it into the variable count. And we see that the number 2 occurred 3 times. So 2 times 3 is 6. That's why we just return max value times count. And that's basically it for today. I hope you found this video helpful and I hope that you enjoyed my video. If you want to see more of my computer science videos, go ahead and click on the data structure playlist here on the screen. And don't forget to subscribe and share with your classmates to help them as well.